The camera is rigged to the side of the car. It's on a 14 foot jib crane, motorized jib crane. Stay tuned for that video. Um, you're in a tight space. You can't get round to the controls. You just can't get to that camera. But you want to change certain aspects like your ASA, your ISO, your shutter speed, your white balance. You want to run stop, most vital there. And you want to pull focus on your manual cine lenses. What do you do? Over the years, I found myself in some really tight spaces uh, with cameras rigged in, in all kinds of configurations. Currently, the film industry is very quiet, so where I would normally have an AC to sort all those things out for me and a grip team and all the rest of it, I'm finding myself on a lot of commercials where I'm a solo shooter with a gaff team, maybe a grip team, but certainly no extension for a cam tech, cam assistant, um, AC, second AC, so on and so forth. And in those scenarios, I look to technologies that have been invented to help us do these things. Um, more consumer friendly based ones because if that's a scenario, it's likely that the project doesn't have a budget for um, renting larger systems. I, I, I need to own them myself. Consumer viable products that will enable us to get professional results. And today we're talking about the Tilta Nucleus Nano 2. <laughs> I have tested this, I've tested it with the Pixis, I've tested it with the Komodo, and I've tested it on the S5 Mark II. I'll try and find a link to put down below for you all to go and actually check out what cameras are compatible. The Nano 2 allows you to control your ASA, so your ISO. It allows you to control your shutter speed and your white balance. And it also, which is the really coolest part about it, allows remote run stop. To begin with, you want to identify where the Bluetooth setting is on your camera. For the Pixis, uh, we're going to hit Menu, and then we're going to go to Setup, and we're going to scroll second to last page. There's a tab that says Bluetooth, and just toggle that on. Now the Pixis is ready, looking for Bluetooth devices. On the Nucleus Nano control wheel, you're going to swipe up, and you're going to go over to the chain device there. It says Connect. You're going to hit Connect and go into Bluetooth. Switch your Bluetooth on and then go into settings. Hit search at the top in the box, and then as it's searching, uh, you should find your Pixis because you've already switched on the Bluetooth there. I think it's PYX followed by whatever your serial numbers are. Once they've found each other and they're communicating, you've tapped on the Pixis, you'll see that your Pixis switches to give you a code on the Bluetooth screen. Um, your Nucleus Nano 2 will also give you a keypad. So it's just a simple case of entering that security key. Push OK and you should get a notification that the device has been connected. Once you've done that, this is your middle screen. It's your default standard screen. It's what allows you to control your focus wheel. Uh, swipe over to the camera control and you should see Pixar 6K. When you simply tap on a setting, so like your ASA, your white balance, um, your aperture, it enables you to change the resolution, but I found it doesn't work. But the shutter speed and the frame rate, that will work and it will correspond. Um, bit rate, I haven't had any uh, effect whatsoever. The most important part for me on this, and I mean, they're all nice things to be able to do. Uh, again, when the monitor drops, it'll be a lot easier to do that. But there's still scenarios where this might help or you'll have an AC and this is the system that they're using. Um, you can lock off the camera controls here by pushing the little toggle at the top. Um, but the best function, and I think the one that people will be using the most, like myself, particularly when I'm uh, shoulder rigging this and I'm um, wireless racking, uh, is the run stop itself. So. Just for a quick video today, this is pretty cool. You can pick these up pretty cheap um, and they're a good reliable system. The batteries last forever. Uh, as you can see, I'm running DTAP to the motor itself, so that will run all day too. To be able to rig this camera somewhere remotely, uh, the back of a car, the front of a car, on a techno crane, um, etc., etc., and still have um, wireless function at the launch stage, I think is fantastic. And these things will only get better. That's it, that's, that's how simple it is to do, and um, that's how effective it is. This really is a great wireless 
um, remote run stop um, for your Pixis yourself. Just a quick overview on the channel and why I haven't uploaded. I've been very busy. Um, I've attended a couple of press releases. I've attended a, um, a theatrical release of a couple of films that I shot. Uh, one a couple days ago and I've got another one in another week as well. So I've been very, very busy with that kind of stuff. We've done a few commercials for some big brands. I've tried to show as much BTS on that as I can. Um, big brands like that, you have a lot of clients on set and they really don't like the whole social media stuff. They'd rather sit back and, and let their projects shine the way they want them to. So I've done what I can on that and we'll talk through some of the bits and bobs on that. Um, we've done a few interviews. We've got a little bit more BTS shooting with the uh, Pixis tomorrow as well. So there's lots to come. It's just finding the time to do this. Um, I need to feed my kids first uh, and pay the bills, which is why I do all of this. Um, so this is like a side project that comes second. It is on the forefront of my mind because the community side of this has been fantastic and uh, very uh, welcoming, which I love, thank you. Um, but it's just finding the time to sit down and, and actually um, record these videos. So that's it, that's the end of the wireless control with the Nucleus Nello 2 and the Pixis 6K as well. Uh, if this comes up in the middle of the week, I hope you're having a great week. If it's the weekend, I hope you're having a great weekend and I will catch you in the next one.